Hi. Recently, I read a news article titled, Yazidis Commit Mass Suicide After Rape by Islamic State Fighters. The article said, quote, The Yazidi religion is indigenous to Kurdistan, and Yazidis themselves are ethnically Kurdish, but unlike many other Kurds, they largely avoided intermarriage with surrounding Arab tribes and thus many of them maintained a strikingly fair Aryan complexion, with blonde hair and blue eyes. By raping their women, Islamic State fighters complement the slaughter and forced conversions of the Yazidis by impregnating them and breaking their bloodline, according to one leading Kurdish activist. This article was further validated by the release of a video showing Islamic State fighters bragging about the capturing, buying, and selling of the blonde-haired, blue-eyed Yazidi women of northern Iraq. In the beginning of that video, you see one Islamic State fighter speaking about his female slave market by saying, quote, Al-yom suq sabaya al-yom suq ma malakat aymanukum, meaning, today is the female slave market day. Today is the market of what your right hands possess. And of course, he is referring to a Quranic teaching here, as the Quran calls female slaves, quote, those whom your right hands possess. See Quran chapter 4, verse 24. Also in this video, the Islamic State fighter says, the price depends. If she has blue eyes, it will be different. Now we must ask ourselves, does this obsession and sexual desire to capture and enslave blonde-haired, blue-eyed non-Muslim women have any basis in the teachings of the Qur'an and Muhammad? I will answer this question by starting with the Qur'an. In chapter 9, verse 49, we read, وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ ذَلِّي وَلَا تَفْتِنِّي أَلَا فِي الْفِتْنَةِ سَقَطُوا وَإِنَّ جَهَنَّمَ لَمُحِيطَةٌ بِالْكَافِرِينَ Which translates as, and among them is he who says, Grant me leave, meaning to be exempted from jihad, and put me not into trial. Surely they have fallen into trial, and verily hell is surrounding the disbelievers. Now, in order for us to understand the historical context of this Quranic revelation, we first need to turn to the tafsir or exegesis literature for an official Islamic commentary on the Quran. In the popular and widely used Tafsir al-Tabari, it says the following about Quran chapter 9 verse 49. وَذَكَرَ أَنَّ هَذِهِ الْآيَةَ نَزَلَتْ فِي الْجَدِّ بْنِ قَيْسِ It was mentioned that this verse was revealed regarding a man named Al-Jadd ibn Qais. Who was he? Well, he was a man who did not want to go out and fight jihad for Muhammad. And he asked to be exempted from that duty. As we read in the Tafsir, he said to Muhammad, وَلَا تَفْتِنِّي يَقُولُ وَلَا تَبْتَلِنِي بِرُؤْيَةِ نِسَاءِ بَنِي الْأَصْفَرِ وَبَنَاتِهِمْ فَإِنِّي بِالنِّسَاءِ مُغْرَمْ فَأَخْرُجُ وَآثَمْ بِذَلِكِ Draw me not into trial. This means, do not trouble me with the sight of the women of Al-Asfar and their daughters. For I am tempted by women, for I fear that I might go out and commit a sin because of that. Al-Asfar in Arabic means the color yellow, but here in this context it means blonde women. So why did this man named Al-Jed react to Muhammad that way? Well, the answer is, Muhammad was enticing his men to go out and fight jihad by promising them blonde female slaves, as we read in the tafsir, عن مجاهد في قول الله إئذن لنا ولا تفتني قال قال رسول الله أغزو تبوك تغنموا بنات الأصفر والنساء الروم فقال الجد إئذن لنا ولا تفتنا بالنساء It was narrated by Mujahid regarding Allah saying quote, Grant me exemption and draw me not into trial that the messenger of Allah, meaning Muhammad, said Invade Tabuk and your spoils will be the daughters of Al-Asfar, meaning the blonde people, and the women of Rome. So Al-Jad replied, grant us exemption and draw us not into trial with women. So finally, we see here in the commentary of At-Tabari that the Quran chapter 9 verse 49 is really about Muhammad enticing his men to fight jihad by promising them blonde female slaves. And according to Al-Jad, Muhammad's enticing was leading him towards temptation to sin. So, if you're a Muslim or if you're thinking of converting to Islam, I would like to ask you, do you think that Muhammad's enticement is acceptable? Look, you can claim that the Islamic State does not represent true Islam, 
and you can dismiss and ignore any Islamic State fighter who refers to white women like they are objects for sale. But can you dismiss and ignore Muhammad, who according to the Islamic sources also spoke about these women in a similar fashion? Thank you for watching.